the tropical storm warnings are in place and will cause life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. We also need to talk about storm surge because that is expected to be anywhere between one and five feet. And the thing to remember about storm surge is that it can vary a lot over short distances. As for rainfall, the system is forecast to produce anywhere between three to five inches of rain with localized amounts of seven inches or higher possible. We're getting ready for the tropical storm. Tropical storm Ophelia is this uh, this one. They're talking about wind gusts, I think around like 50 miles an hour, not too bad. Uh, but the only thing that scares me is the, the rain. It's gonna be like three to six inches. For down here, that's a whole lot of rain. Um, my house as it is, as it sits right now, is about eight feet above sea level. Uh, and if you go further into ocean pines, I think the the highest in Ocean Pines, I believe is like 30 feet. And that's like right at the top of the hill uh, near me. But um, if we do flood. People have asked before, uh, yeah, we do. And it does get kind of bad sometimes, but there's certain things that I'll do before the storm just to kind of like watch and protect our stuff. So that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, do that stuff real quick. You don't have to do it. A lot of people here don't do it. My neighbors don't do it. Um, it's not something you have to do, but it's just something I like to do just to make sure that all my stuff is protected and not uh, cleaning it out of the neighbor's yards. So uh, we're gonna go through real quick and yeah, get to start it. I don't have much time. It's gonna start raining in like maybe an hour and a half. So I don't have a whole lot of time, but there is a lot of stuff I gotta get done. So pretty much what I'll do, I, uh, I gotta move the grills inside. I gotta move all the stuff underneath my little cantina to make sure that doesn't blow away. I gotta check up on the roof right here. This little part has a bunch of leaves that collect and then the water doesn't come over, or it does come over. It comes way over down onto my fillet table and then into the porch. So I gotta, uh, I gotta check the, check the gutters up there. This I gotta close up. I gotta put a new cover on the boat because the boat cover is, all messed up it's got big holes in it um pretty much that should be it about it oh no one last thing the flooding here okay so there's a um a ditch that comes this way here comes my cat <laughs> anyway kitty what are you doing hi what are you doing you're out playing? Okay, anyway, um, there's a, a ditch that comes this way and then it goes straight out in front and then it goes around the other side. So it comes all the way around and all the way in the back corner is where it all collects and it goes out to the main channel. You wanna say hi? Okay, you good? No, you're not good, okay. All right, so anyway, right in front of me over here is that there's like a, a, a little culvert that goes underneath that puts the water over that way. So I gotta go dig that out. That is the most important because if I don't dig that out, uh, the water will come in. Um, I built like a little like berm in the back and then on the side too, uh, because when the water gets so bad, it'll sometimes come in and flood up to the grills and stuff here. Yeah, it's seen better days. A big hole right through the throttle. If it's really, really heavy winds, what we'll do is park the cars at the park over there. And that way it's they're safe. Otherwise, we've had tree limbs come down and like nearly miss our, uh, our cars. One of them hit the neighbor's car one time. So yeah, not good. Hope this tarp's big enough for the boat. Doesn't look like it. No, I don't think it is. Uh-oh. Gotta try to figure out something. I'll tell you what, it's not my greatest work, <laughs> but it does work. Got the engine covered. Only thing I don't like is the back, but that's okay. I think it'll work. I think it should work fine. Old George, I don't have to do anything with him. He's not going anywhere. It's like two, 200 pounds. Yeah, I'd say about 200 pounds, super, super heavy. I'll tell you what though, I do feel bad for anybody that lives in Ocean City, like downtown. Get your cars away from there. 
because that place is known to flood like crazy. Climb up on the roof real quick, or just to the gutters, get all that crap down, get these inside, a couple other small things inside, and then that's it. The grills, I mean, you don't really have to move them inside, but I do if it's really heavy wind because I have had some uh, flip over, like really, really flip over. I had an old charcoal smoker before I got the Traeger and that thing, I mean, it, it like flip flipped. I heard a really, really loud bang. We ran outside to go see what it was and it was the whole grill just flipped upside down. Wind had caught the cover underneath and after that, it just, it just rolled it right over. It's like a, like a jigsaw puzzle. Here we go. Almost. Here we go. Okay, third time's a charm. Check out the ditch, the drainage ditch real quick. Here's the ditch. You can see where like all the leaves that we've done it before. So we gotta make sure this side is clear. Oh, it's perfect. Nothing in there. It all comes this way and then it goes through and then out this way and out. So if this gets clogged up, which sometimes it does, um, it goes up into my yard. The worst that we ever had it with the water, it came all the way up and up to about right here, right before it started to go into the shed. And I had to run out to that uh, drain. I'm unclogging the drain. It's not doing anything. The water going that way is still just as bad. I mean, it's, it, it was completely filled to the top. So I had to dig a trench on top of the trail to at least get some of the water down. And I got it back down to about like right here. You're talking that much rain down here is a whole lot. Even an inch of rain for us is a lot. And they're talking three to six, that's a ton. All right, I think we're all done and we're ready for the storm. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna uh, try to film tonight when it comes in tomorrow as much as I can. I don't know how far down into Ocean City I'm gonna get just because uh, it floods so bad down there, but I'll try the best I can. I'm on mission number two. I got all my stuff done. My neighbor called, he wants me to go check on his boat real quick. Uh, and get the bilge drained, uh, turn the engines on, run it for a little bit. So I'm going to try to do that as well, as quickly as I can. The rain's supposed to start any minute. Oh, that wind is... that just closed my door. Man, is it windy. Whoa, that's all flooded already. Oh, this is going to be nasty. That water is up extremely high. His dock lines look pretty good. All right, try to maneuver through here. Check the build real fast. It's actually not, well, that's not too, too bad. All right, get this stuff all started up. Turn the batteries on. Builds. That is crazy how high up that water is already and it hasn't even started yet. I wish you could see on film the water just ripping this way through acetique. It's all white caps over there. This is nuts. All right, we're back out of here. Take the, the leap of faith onto the dock. I would suck to like eat it right at the end and fall and lose my keys in the water. All right. Just starting to rain, deck's all wet.
It's like nine o'clock on Friday. I'm not gonna go out because it's, it's still drizzling pretty good. The wind, you can hear the wind. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be a different story. It, it looks like it's, um, it's gonna be pretty crazy around 2 a.m. is when we should get a lot of it and then we'll see it into tomorrow too. So I'll be out recording. Hopefully I'll get something. I gotta say, we got pretty lucky. It's Saturday right now. We were supposed to get hit this morning around like 2 or 3 a.m. and it just never really came. Uh, no high winds, it's like real light rain showers, but that's it. Uh, it was supposed to call for like like three inches of rain roughly, which had me pretty nervous because that much rain here, that's a lot. So we got really, really lucky. It looks like right now it's all kind of centered around like Christfield, Pocomoke sort of away from us but when you look on the radar it's like surrounding us so we got really really lucky we're gonna run down Ocean City now go check that out and see what's going on down there right now it looks like it was windier yesterday than it is today the big storm clouds but it's like it looks like it's all like pushing west it's not even really near us we're going over the 90 bridge now, and this is facing up towards Fenwick. That side is, is definitely pretty choppy. This side, not, not so much, but it's weird seeing all the clouds, and then it's like kind of sun, and then on this side, it's all foggy, and you can't see. We're driving down St. Louis now, which is like the known area for flooding, and there's nothing here. It's like a huge, just, it, I don't know what happened. Um, oh. oh, wow. That water's up really high. It's been kind of crazy because it, sometimes the storms, when they come up the coast, they intensify and then they really hit us hard. Or sometimes they just completely break apart. Um, even over the bay, when they come over the bay, you can watch them from D.C. And then they come over the bay and they just fall apart. So it looks like that's what happened with this one. Um, they canceled pretty much every event in Ocean City. Restaurants were closing. I, I, what else? Church morning mass. Was morning mass was closed. Like this is 9th Street right here. This always floods, so it's nothing new. Um, but it's not. It's not a lot. There's people fishing on the pier. So I'm gonna head down to 2nd Street. We'll go check out the along the bulkhead there, show you how high the water is. This is down on 2nd Street. This is like the biggest storm damage we've seen. <laughs> that, oh, trash can knocked over. I was just looking on the radar again. It said it, it, around three or four o'clock, it looks like we're gonna get some heavy, heavy rain and uh, thunderstorms, but this is pretty much it. There's the 50 bridge. The water is up pretty high. Other storms though, I've seen it come all the way up and over onto all of this. So it's, it's not bad at all. It's really not bad. What do you think? Pretty windy. It doesn't not like, make any sense. It's blue skies up there, straight clear. That straight storm weather over there. Yeah. Huge waves, huge, huge waves. Sand all over the boardwalk. They bring in uh, like backhoes and stuff and they'll scrape it all off. How tall do you think those things are? Those are, they're over 10 feet. Well over 10 no, feet. Stop, stop, they hurt. Yeah. Yeah, those are huge oh, waves. Uh, huh? Who's swimming? Where? Oh yeah. Two people right there. Yeah, those waves are definitely over 10 feet. That guy or this wave? 
Those waves towered over that guy. Boy. Let's go home and get the boogie boards. No! <laughs> Why? We're gonna get sucked! Sucked out? Like drops off right here. Boy. Boy, walk back there! Down this way. Huge, that's well over 10 feet. That's crazy. Oh my god, I have the fence up against the ocean that's falling. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Ocean's Calling Music uh, Festival is next weekend. Last year we had a really bad storm too and they had to cancel it, but it looks like so far the weather for next weekend is supposed to be pretty good. The rip current right there. So that's it, storm's over. Uh, it's pretty uh, uneventful. A little rain here and there, but that's about it. Um, I gotta get all my grills put back. But that's, yeah, that's it. Uh, the heavy rain was supposed to come in around four. Obviously that never happened. Uh, still pretty cloudy, but that's about it. Not too much wind, but those waves in Ocean City were huge. So, all right, that's it. Appreciate you watching and yeah, we'll see you next time.